these viewers what they think of the happenings, which has led to a wild discussion in the comments. Well, a ghost has not yet been captured. Marina Joyce Not always do scary things happen in front of the camera, and speculation can always lead to feelings of fear and discomfort. Marina Joyce is a YouTuber best known for her fashion vlogs. Fans have noted her somewhat bizarre behavior as interesting, and it has caused her channel to gain a wide amount of subscribers and views. Recently, things took a strange turn when Joyce's video, Date Outfit Ideas, released on July 22, 2016. Viewers became concerned when they noticed a second person was behind the camera apparently giving directions, and by visible bruises on Joyce's arms. This led to speculation Joyce was being abused, and possibly forced to make the videos for someone else's profit circle bed in my bedroom <laughs> which is really messy right now but um i didn't say help you my mum said something um during the thing and More extreme theories have emerged claiming Joyce was kidnapped and forced to make the videos, though these claims have no backing evidence. Police in her home of Enfield were even contacted to do a welfare check, and their official Twitter stated she was safe and well. Joyce stated later in an interview none of the concerns were true. While this seemed to be the end of the drama, Joyce later posted a lengthy Facebook post describing herself as a goddess and detailing her dreams to build a temple in Peru. By this point, fans and other YouTube celebrities, most notably Philip DeFranco, had voiced concern, with DeFranco sincerely pleading any close friends and family of Joyce to help her. It is unknown what her motivations behind the idea is, but people believe she is either suffering from mental illness or experiencing drug-related mental backlash. Whatever the cause, people everywhere hope she is able to find any help she may need before things go out of control. Day with James the best way to describe this channel is it is a simple vlog and miscellaneous one with all sorts of different subjects from fitness to general day-to-day -day happenings. James is a young man from the UK living with several roommates and as discovered recently, a few hidden guests. James and his roommates began to notice odd occurrences within their home, from strange noises to feelings of being watched. James has documented several unexplainable happenings to the YouTube channel, many of which record footsteps from upstairs while no one is up there. As you know, my grandmother passed away a few months ago now. One video shows James in his room talking to the camera when there's a knock at the door. Expecting it to be one of his roommates, he opens it after several persistent knocks, only to find nobody on the other side. And at the same time, all right, hello? No, knock at my door. Yo. Hello? In another, James and one of his roommates hear loud footsteps from the second floor, even though they're the only ones in the home. There's like us two and the two dogs in. Nobody else in the house and there is like footsteps upstairs. You can still hear it, can't you? Since these uploads, people have developed an interest in the channel, waiting for paranormal updates in the hopes of something creepy and evident happening. James also asks his viewers what they think of the happenings, which has led to a wild discussion in the comments. While a ghost has not yet been captured on camera, James's videos have presented enough to show there is something living with them, making things go bump in the night. Exploring with Josh 
a channel for the adventurous type. Exploring with Josh is another urban exploration channel, with Josh and company searching the depths of pretty eerie locations. Of course, it is part of the territory that they found rather unsettling things and experienced strange and unexplainable occurrences. Josh and his friends were exploring an abandoned asylum known to have an extended tunnel network connecting the buildings together. They found the usual things at first, graffiti and various broken down furniture and walls. They also found boxes of 22 caliber bullets, along with bullet holes in the surrounding walls, but they were unprepared for what was in the basement. There, the group found a chair, with duct tape around the armrests and the legs, and a pentagram drawn in what appears to be blood beneath. The markings looked fresh, causing a further uneasiness amongst the group. They trekked on the adjacent building, finding more pentagrams and small pools of blood on the ground. With the amount of people conducting urban exploration, there is bound to be the capturing of paranormal activity, and Josh's videos have been archived as evidence for people to decide. Sons of Arkham Sons of Arkham is a prank channel who has collaborated with the likes of That Brown Nerd and Epic 5 TV. His pranks are mostly harmless potty humor, including pretending to fart on people, but he mostly films the pranks for That Brown Nerd instead of actually being in the pranks himself. However, he ended up being the centerfold of a dire situation in August 2016. That brown nerd was conducting a prank where he would pretend to fart on Muslims. While the entire story isn't known, one of the victims did not find it very funny and pulled a gun on the group and fired. Sons of Arkham was shot in the leg and required surgery to remove the bullet. Luckily, the round did not hit any major arteries, and he has since been making a full recovery. That brown nerd was extremely shaken by the incident and took a break from making videos in order to compose himself and tend to his friend. After a short break during recovery, Sons of Arkham and That Brown Nerd were back at it, and new videos have begun to upload onto both channels. However, with such a near-death experience, it would be understandable if both have decided to tone down the size of their pranks. TV Dennis C. Pranks can be good fun, but it has also led to unwarranted consequences. Dennis C is one of the many prank channels to appear on YouTube. During one of their pranks, Dennis and his crew traveled to a New York City neighborhood and asked people if they wanted to buy guns. The catch? They were water guns. Several of the people they approached reacted very negatively, resulting in physical altercations and verbal threats. But there were also those who quickly realized it was a prank and took it with good humor. However, nothing Nothing could prepare for what was about to come. One of the men approached three individuals and asked the question. One of them lunged at the man and allegedly pulled out a real pistol, pointing directly at him. Yo, like a gun. I already got Yo, yo. Yo, yo. relax. Stop. Yo, please stop. Don't shoot, man. The altercation was quickly de-escalated and the men stopped the prank and left the area. The genuine fear in the man's face when faced with the possibility of being shot is gut-wrenching, and he pleads for the man not to shoot. The video does not show the aftermath, and this has led people to believe it was faked for views, but there are many still who believe it to be genuine. Fake or not, it is still terrifying to watch, and will cause viewers to think twice before starting a prank channel of their own. Sejin. Twitch streamers are known to record their streams and either post them in full or as a montage to YouTube. Well-known Dota streamer Sejin is one of these streamers, and during one of her live streams, she underwent a truly traumatic and unforgettable experience. Mid-game, Sejin heard a loud bang, followed by a man shouting. She rushed out of her room to investigate and didn't return. The hell? Oh, 
Viewers watched as strange men were searching around her computer and room, and only then did people realize her home had been invaded. Frantically, viewers tried to contact friends of Sejin to explain the situation, and finally one of her friends called the police. Sejin and her boyfriend were unharmed during the robbery, but they were held at gunpoint while the men robbed their home. Police arrived and managed to arrest one of the suspects but the second got away. Sejin explained what happened in a long vlog post and stated the men wanted to take her boyfriend to the bank and withdraw money while they held her hostage, but police arrived before this happened. Sejin continues to stream, and luckily, it appears her and her boyfriend are moving on from the incident. Joey Salads Love him or hate him, people still cannot deny Joey Salads has gained a large following. Salads is a prank and social experiment channel, and he has caused controversy for his videos, particularly one where he posed as a transgender woman and entered the woman's bathroom to document reactions. In June 2016, Salads conducted a social experiment titled, Radical Islam vs. Radical Christianity, which had Salads and an associate run through several different scenarios. Salads friend, Chris, was dressed as a stereotypical Muslim, dropping a package and shouting Allah Akbar before running away. Salads did the same, except in normal clothing and saying praise Jesus before running off. People panicked when Chris dropped the package, but all those who Salads did it to stood there, confused but seemingly unfazed. This gathered much criticism from viewers with accusations of racism and stereotyping. Not long after the video's upload, Salads was physically attacked, resulting in a black eye. Furthermore, Salads claimed his personal information was released and he was receiving death threats. Salads described the ordeal in a short vlog post, but critics have accused Salads of making the story up for sympathy or publicity. Knowing the way things go in society with such sensitive subjects, it is highly likely Salads' claims are true, and they have left him questioning if he wants to continue making videos. In an earlier video, Salads tried to get anti-Trump protesters to stomp on the American flag, but the prank backfired when he got recognized. Up on the flag! No, do it now then! No, no. Do it now! 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 Do it An angry crowd shouted that he was going to stomp on the flag leading to pro and anti-Trump protesters to shout verbal insults and threaten physical violence, with one stealing the flag. Regardless of politics, it is a scary situation for anyone to be ganged up on and possibly physically attacked by multiple assailants.